So you guys know how I'm often like, I'm such an idiot, I'm so dumb, I'm so stupid, and you guys are always so nice and like, United Gamer, you shouldn't say that about yourself. You're not dumb. Well, here I am to ultimately prove you wrong. There is no debating after what I just did. So apparently, I didn't save any of my brain cells uh, from my finals for YouTube editing, common sense, you know, that fun stuff. Uh, so I was trying to record a new Pokemon Ultra Sun episode, and I was deleting some old files because because I was running low on memory space on my computer and my smart self didn't even think that wait I haven't edited all these parts and went and deleted my webcam so for today's episode not that you guys really want to see this I understand I don't blame you but there will be no webcam but I have to show today's episode off because something tragic happens and it kills me and you guys have to see it you're not gonna see my reaction but it's pretty much just me screaming uh, and crying on so maybe it's good that you guys don't see the webcam and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the episode anyway I really apologize. I just want you I want to make sure you at least see the episode and I'm still mad at myself I'm so frustrated right now that I did this because I can't take it back. I already cleared my recycling bin There's no way to get it back at least as far as I know I'm not that very savvy when it comes to this kind of stuff But hope you guys enjoy the episode anyway, and I'm truly sorry with what happens today What's going on United Family, United Gamer here, and welcome everyone to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. How are you beautiful people doing? Hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. We're closing in on Christmas so freaking fast. I really should be out there, you know, Christmas shopping right now, you know, giving a few elbows to people trying to get my gifts, but I am just feeling so amped after recording the previous episode and taking on this trial that I'm recording another one. If you missed it, make sure to go check it out. It really wasn't that difficult, but it was freaking hilarious and really exciting we took on an electivire which is really so funny to me because if you're not new to the channel you already know we run into electivire all the dang time we have like never ran into magmortar i don't know why but like not once i feel like i've never fought one and i've never caught one not even like anybody in that evolution line but what's so funny is we always run into electivire we always use him in like several several series and he always and i mean always dies we have never Ever, not even once been able to keep him alive so he was coming back to a revenge and this is just how much he hates us he actually summoned his kid Ella kid to come and help him fight us that is how much he hates us he brought his kid to work in that totem fight but we made it out alive and we're gonna head over and see what we got for us if I'm not mistaken it is time to go fight your boy Guzma so I am really amped about that if you guys are enjoying this series and want to keep seeing daily uploads even though I'm sure a lot of you probably have some family stuff to do you know when it goes to your family it's okay if you miss an episode you're not gonna hurt my feelings do not worry you know, I have a family dinner just today here, so I'm supposed to be going in Christmas shopping like 45 minutes away and make it back in time in like four hours. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. I love how I look down right here. I'm not wearing a watch. But anyways, yes, I really should be out there shopping right now, but I'm believing for a jam-packed episode today. We have some encounters. We got your boy Guzma fight right here. I am really excited. Let's go ahead and load the spinner for today and see if we can get another bonus. We've been getting really lucky with these lately. Can we get one of those? Just not anti-legendary. All right, yeah, we haven't got fam's choice yet, too. I really want to get that one. That one's a new one that one of you guys came up with, too. Uh, so I really want to do that, but we got sunburn. What sunburn means is if a Pokemon is burned, we cannot heal them for the entire episode. They've been out to the sun a little bit too much, and they are going to be burned for the episode. Am I healed? Am I healed? I don't think I am. I am not healed. I definitely want to go do that before we go take on Guzma. Want to make sure we're A-OK, -okay, even though, yes, we still got the Kyrium out front. Our team is very stacked right now. But yeah, so the issue with the sunburn thing is too, yeah, we can't heal it with a burn heal and whatnot, but the thing is, if a Pokemon gets burned, we basically can't do a, we basically, you know, have a complicated relationship because we can't go heal in the Pokemon Center because that's still going to heal its burn. So, I mean, either we got to put them up in the PC box and not use them the rest of the episode, or we cannot heal for the rest of the episode. So, uh, we might as well just not use them because them being burned and hurting themselves constantly and, you know, having their attack probably is not the smartest thing to do. But alright, I'm ready. I've been waiting so long to fight Guzma. I'm so excited for this. Yo, 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 hold up, yo, Mr. Kakui. 
You say you want to make a Pokemon League? You got your rocks in your skull? Four turns. What? That really didn't make any sense. Bring it on, the both of you. I've been researching Pokemon moves, yeah, so I'm always ready. Oh yeah! I'll take you both on in Battle Royal, and you'll be down with a, just a Swift and Incinerator too. You gotta beat the man to be the man, boys. Yo, for real? Let's do for real right now? Fine, you ask for it. Go get him, Professor! You numbskulls should learn your place. <laughs> Battle Royal, huh? Nice idea there, Kikui. You can beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? I love I love Kikui's little like devilishly handsome smile right there. He, he ain't worried about no Guzma, no matter what kind of like drug lord gang leader you are. It's Guzma. The boss has graced us with his presence. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never gives up. Yeah. Big bad Guzma's here. I really should give him like a really high schooly voice. You know, he's supposed to be this big like gang leader. And it would be just so funny if he's like, Oh, we have an exciting bout for you tonight in the opposing corner. I'm not going to keep doing that because I even like hurts my throat. And I don't really feel like having, getting like four or five people to unsub. But I think that would be so funny. If I could do a really good like girl voice, I would so give him that voice uh, for these fights. Just because I think that would be so funny for like this gang leader right here. Here we are, Kikui, fellow rejects who could never become captains. We've got all these moldy old traditions in Aloha, the kahunas, the captains. It's about time we cut all that silly garbage and make something new for ourselves. Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong though, Kikui, we've got no need for the Pokemon League. After all, everyone already knows who the strongest trainer is on these islands. Speak for yourself, Guzma. It's not like I couldn't become a captain. I chose not to. I had other dreams, see? I just wanted to be this little chill professor, you know. I wanted to figure out which moves would be strong enough to beat Ohala, and finally found what I was looking for. The strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together. In the heat of the moment, when it really counts, it's so inspirational. That's when I knew I had to make the Pokemon League, to give everybody a chance to be pushed to a limit with their team and find that perfect move. Let's see it, Guzma. Show me your moves and prove you aren't just all talk. My boy Kakui out here calling him out. I like it. And then you just step aside and let this little child fight you. That makes a lot of sense. That makes you look like you got some really big kahunas yourself there, Kakui. <laughs> and then he goes and says, Dylan and his Kirim can unleash some really powerful moves. I'm glad you know me and my legendary can do some damage right here. This is a fanatic. It's getting me all riled up. Oh, yeah, he's checking out our style here. We need to go change some clothes, honestly. We got the same tank top up. We probably sunburned ourselves. I'm freaking pale as, like, ever out here, and I'm always out in the sun. You've got a Z-Power ring, huh, kid? Why even bother with the Island Challenge? What's the point of it? Yeah, it'll make me strong, I guess. You know, I, I want to be the champion. I want to be the best in the world. No, it won't, you dumb kid. Why, that, God, that's not PG, Kuzma. Come on, now. You gotta know. Someday I'm gonna destroy you, but first, I'll destroy everything you care about. Want to see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form. It's your boy, Guzma. All right, Guzma, I've been waiting for this fight for so freaking long. I'm so excited to fight you, and you transformed into a cowgirl. I like it. Pokemon Breeder Guzma, what do you have for me? A sit biscuit. It's my boy. My, is it, was it a boy? I think it was a girl. I don't remember. It's Biscuit, though. Oh, from our wide randomizer Egglock. It's not shiny for me. And you have slow start. That well, I mean, you speed. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But your attack, that doesn't really make a difference. Uh, let's go with a Razor Shell. You don't have the best defense, and I know that. But you're level 37. 30 freaking 7. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It landed. No. Oh. Ah! Draco. Draco. How did you live that? How did you live that? Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out right now. Get out right now. Oh, my God. All right. Um. Uh, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff. Oh my gosh. How did you actually land that? I mean, it's all, what is it, like 50% accuracy? It's a 120% damage with your amazing special attack uh, and stat. If you, there's probably, it might not be electro type. He's only effective with, he's only normally effective with ground. So it's not actually an electro type. Oh my gosh. I was about to say, how the heck did you do that much damage? And you just live that. All right. Oh, it's a flying type. Oh, okay. All right. Ooh, okay. If you knew, like, Leaf Storm or something, uh, or, like, Solar Beam out here, that would be pretty, you know, scary. I'm not even gonna lie. But, Sylveon, get on out of here. Oh, my goodness. Wow. 
I cannot believe that Draco just lived that. I know he's a legendary, but that is a Sylveon amazing special attack. If it actually is electric and flying, and it just used that with 120 damage and stab, I am so proud of Draco. What a beast to live that. A Crocodile. All right, so no legendaries there, Guzma. But, I mean, hey, that's a pretty dang good team. Uh, let's go with Reaper. We haven't been using him that much lately. I am still just in disbelief that it just did that and lived that. Whoo, Guzma's coming at me strong. He really does think I'm a dumb kid. But hey, boy, I'm going to make it out of here without even a single death. Your levels are getting really high, though. I really need to start training up Gryffindor, to be honest. Like, Gryffindor is falling behind. Let's go, let's go all out for this Crocodile. Let's do it. Let's go for this Corkscrew. Uh, what is it? Corkscrew Crush? All right, so you have speed and you land that. So that's, that's going to be annoying because your defense is going to raise, whatever. But I can just sit back and relax here. Uh, maybe shoot some b-ball outside the school. I hope somebody gets that reference so I don't... They're like, probably like, wait, what? <laughs> Why did you just say that? Surely somebody got that reference. But I know that I have some younger viewers on the channel, so probably you wouldn't have got it. But it's to a show. Pork screw crash. He's going to probably eat it, but it should do a good bit of damage. Bro, he ate that like freaking pancakes and waffles. My lord, how did you live that so well? I know you raised your defense, but he just ate that so easily. I cannot believe he ate that so well. My god, will you land the hit, Reaper? I ain't out here to be all... I ain't, I ain't trying to be out here all day. Alright, so... Oh my god, that did some damage. Oh my gosh. That, he's definitely a water type. Definitely a water type. Ain't no way he did that much uh, damage without stab. Um, I could go to Dragoon Bod. But, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that would be smart either. Um, Hufflepuff, you're super effective on you. Alice, maybe? Maybe Alice? I don't think Alice will kill you, but... Reaper? That Brian did some damage to Reaper. It actually might be like a steel and water type. No, because then I wouldn't have been not very effective at all with that uh, move. So that's definitely not that. I don't really know. I really don't know what type it is. All right, it is hurt by the sandstorm, so honestly, if I can't kill it myself, that'll kill it. Unless your boy gives me heals. Let me go for a let me go for a clamp. Use smart strike. Okay, that's fine. Did some damage though. All right, this clamp at least that and the sandstorm. Yeah, it's definitely gonna, that's definitely gonna kill it. I don't care. The sandstorm's gonna hurt it, and then the clamp's gonna hurt it one more time, and that should definitely be enough. It is okay. Crooked out. Get out of here. Whoo! My goodness, that was that, that was close. GG's, Alice. Good job. I'm proud of you, girl. Still not learning any moves, are you? Nope, of course not. Reaper, you gonna learn anything? Gyro Ball. Well, actually, you know, Reaper, you really you really don't need anything. You have Bullet Punch, Anchor Shot, and Meteor Mash for a Soul Seal type. I think you literally have everything you need. Maybe an Earthquake rather than Drill Run or something. I don't know. High Horsepower, but still, like, you know some fantastic moves. Guzma, what is wrong with you? Now is the time for your, your uh, vaunted, uh, vaunted team to let loose and destroy everything. It was Dylan, right? I'll remember you as somebody, as someone. I'll be happy to beat down anytime. When did Hal get here? So you're Hal, huh? Like you just been here like the entire time watching from a distance, but you like fight this gang leader and you didn't want to help me. Oh man. Alright, Hal, I see how it is. And I know you have a jam-packed team, Hal. We've fought you already like three or four times, I think three. And you've had a powerful team every single time. Oh, thank you for the primary <laughs> Z-Crystal. That, that's so beneficial to me right now, Kakui. I really appreciate it. None of my Pokemon got burned, right? I can go to the PC and heal. I want to make sure I do that before a burn ever actually does happen. But that was such a perfect... Uh, I love whoever did come up with that. That was such a cool idea for the Alola region. I don't know, you know, being out in the sun, you know, Hawaii and everything. I thought that was definitely really cool. But your boy Guzma didn't let me down. That was a pretty good fight. I mean, that one thrill of almost losing Draco. I thought we were just about to lose a Legendary like that. See, that's how close it could be, guys. That's how I'm trying to tell you guys. You never really know... Uh, no matter if you have legendary, Sylveon's obviously not a legendary, very powerful Pokemon with a very high special attack and that, I really think that should have killed. I'm surprised it did it, unless somehow it's not an electric type at all. Um, it might, it probably wasn't, because I really think that would have killed. Are we, are we good now? Can we leave? How, what are you doing? Why aren't you helping us? Do you remember what my gramps told us? 
He said we'd meet Pokemon and people on our journey that enrich our lives, yeah? I mean, I'm having a good time on my journey for sure, but maybe that's not enough. No, he's still like going through a little bit of depression there. I'm sorry to hear that, Hal. I am, my friend. I hope uh, you get all that situated, whatever, you know, you're going through it. Whatever, whatever you may be dealing with there, Hal. Hope you're feeling good, my friend. Oh, yeah, we get some more encounters up ahead, too. I'm feeling good about that. I want to train up Gryffindor, though. We got to start training up Gryffindor. The levels are almost in the 40s now. They will be probably by, like, the next trial or right after the next trial. So I need to be prepared. And Gryffindor is not even level 30 yet. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. So, Reaper and Draco and even Alice and Hufflepuff are good to go. Dragoonbot and Gryffindor need some training. Dragoonbot is just kind of there. Like, I feel bad we haven't used uh, her at all. But the thing is, I don't know, I'm really not... It's kind of hard to ever, like, just need an Ice type, if that makes sense. Like, and plus, Ice being pretty weak to a good bit, you know, fighting uh, Steel and Fire, which I've been pretty commonly seen so far. But, I don't know, maybe I should start using Dragoonbot a little bit. So I can get some love and see what it can do. You know what? I'm feeling majorly confident. Let's go straight into this double battle. Uh, hey, I'm confident in the training I've done with my Pokemon. All right. Well, that's what I just said. Let's see what you got, little kid. I'm ready for you. Do you have anything? Watch him actually have something really powerful. going to have a freaking Mega Mewtwo out here. That's going to be terrifying. All right. What do we got? What do I got to deal with? All right. That's, e that's easy. And a Gold Duck. Okay. We can handle that just fine. Not really worried about it. Who do I got out here with Gryffindor? Oh, look at that beautiful 7th gem frame rate right there. Uh, level 30s. Okay, so we're... God dang it, Alice! I always forget you have Sandstream! Alright, well, let's just go with a Dragon Hammer right here on the Golduck. And, um... Maybe a Crab Hammer on the Golduck. Okay, super, super effective. Let's get that one out of here. Sunny day. Well, that's gonna hurt my Water-type moves. But hey, at least it gets rid of the Sandstream. At least that happens. And hey, you know, Gryffindor's actually a fire type. So you're going to help me out. I'm going to start using Flamethrower now, and everything's going to die. Yeah, that sunny day really hurt me, actually. <laughs> uh, Dragon Hammer. All right, so I'm guessing you're actually a fire type. Okay. Are you going to paralyze me? You are going to paralyze me. That's annoying. All right. Um, You're super effective on me, but I can knock out that Gold Duck with one more hit with there. I'm not very effective on either of these. I'm going to go for this. It might not be ver not very effective, but that sunny day is definitely going to help. Let's go with one more crab hammer on the gold duck, and that should be enough to kill. Snarl, okay. That's a good move, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, it's ghost type, so yeah, you're very effective on us. Lower my special attack is annoying because I just used flamethrower. Normally effective. And we got the burn off! Sunburn! Let's go, baby! Oh, man. <laughs> Can't heal that burn. Why am I both paralyzed? That's so that's so dang annoying to deal with. Um, and I didn't get the I didn't even get to attack with Alice because the freaking uh perilous. All right, well, shoot. Um, I'll just go with the Dragon Hammer and the Orcoro. That should probably kill. I hope. And will you please just land one hit, Alice? That's all I need you to do is just one hit, and it'll be dead. Electro. Oh God, that could do something. Who's that? Is that for Alice? Oh no no no! no. Please don't tell me they both attack. Oh God. No! 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 I didn't know they're both electric. I didn't know they're both electric. I thought just one of them was. And he was using Nuzzle, not Shockwave. Oh, that was still my stupid move. I thought Alice would keep eating it, and I assume, you know, we, one more Crab Hammer, we'd knock it out, and we'd be done. I cannot believe I just did that. That was so stupid of me. I just figured, like, if you get what I'm saying, like, I didn't know Golduck was electric. I, I thought it was fire, because it was using Sunny Day. I was not very effective on it with Flamethrower, so it must be fire and electric. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. We have lost both of our, like, MVPs from the Sonic Extreme Randomizer in the last few episodes. We lost Tapu Koko, and then we just lost Alice. Now, I only have two more extra lives that I can use in this series, if if we even roll it. And I don't even know who to use that on. And why am I... Oh, right, the burn's gonna kill it. It doesn't even matter. I am so salty right now. I am so salty. I hate double battles. I hate double battles. I can't stand them. I can't believe we just lost Alice. 
I just said I was confident in my team and everything, which Alice isn't the absolute best. I'm going to be honest. I hate to say it, but Alice isn't. You know, with the physical attacking moves, not going to learn any other moves. So it's not like a devastating hit to our team. It's just like, emotionally, I'm wrecked right now. Oh, that was honestly harder than losing Tapu Coco. I, it's just Alice was so clutch in our Sun Extreme Randomizer, and she was such a good Pokemon. And I, I can't ever, I don't ever get her in any other series, so... I mean, I don't have many other gens that you can ever get her in. You know, we only had the last two, so... <sighs> I'm about to end the episode off now. <laughs> it's, been two, it's only been 20 minutes. Oh, man. Alice, I'm so sorry that I did that. I got <laughs> too arrogant. I don't even know what to put in for her. I want to see what this dribble is going to turn into. This dribble, I keep putting him in and out. I want to finally see what he's going to turn into. He has got like nine levels to go. It's time to find out what he's going to be. I think it evolved at level 31, if I'm not mistaken. I need to go take out a little walk outside, you know, get a little screaming in my pillow action. Uh, so we're going to take a little break, guys. I'm going to probably set, shed some tears. I'm not even going to lie. I'm, I'm dead. I cannot believe we just lost Alice. I just, I really didn't know they're both electric, and I thought I only had Nuzzle because that's all it was using. And I knew Nuzzle wasn't going to kill me because it's a very weak move. And Alice was going to eat it up. Thought one more crab hammer, the burns on it. We're going to kill it like that. And then, bam, we got Electro Ball and then Shockwave, and Alice is gone. Oh, man. Even with my great special defense. We're going to take a little short break, though, and have today's United Bonus Round. Welcome to the United Bonus Round. In the previous episode, we heard the following Pokemon cry. This was none other than the Pokemon Picky Pick. Now, enter the following Pokemon cry correctly to send United Gamer a challenge or a bonus in an upcoming episode. Ten of you must get this correct to complete this bonus round. Let's get back into the video. You know this may be frowned upon, but I'm gonna beat up on this little child to make me feel better. <laughs> I am so- the music, who's this now? It's your boy Gladion! Let's get it, Pokemon Trainer Hayden. Change names. Hey, you got a Metapod! Surely you're gonna win now. And it's a shiny! That's a pretty dope looking shiny though, not even gonna lie. Alright everybody, we gotta avenge- we gotta avenge Alice, you know, we gotta play it more careful. I always get too loose in randomizer Nuzlocke and then this crap happens, and it's always double battles. It's always double battles. And, yeah, Metapod can't add here. <laughs> oh man, all right Gladian, that was that was pretty pathetic out there. Um, are we good now? You done? God, how did I lose? I was surely a win with my Metapod. <laughs> it's definitely not his voice, but I don't care. <laughs> ah! Let's keep moving on. And what do you want? Challenge you to a battle? I can decline? Oh, Pool will beware, he just wants to fight. Um, who do I have out here? I got, I got Gryffindor out front, right? Well, let's see. You know, let's go, let's get Dragon Ball. I was talking about I need him to shine too. Gryffindor, you did your work. You had to watch Alice go down, so I know you're probably tired and pretty depressed. Oh, we have to battle them to cross. Oh, okay, I didn't even know that. Alright, let's do it. Let's battle you! Beware is awesome. I love Beware, though. I really do like the Alolan Pokemon. They're so cool. Watch, watch him actually have a Beware, too. That'd be pretty dope. Or Leafeon, Leafeon user, what do you got? A Wubat, okay, well, I think Dragoon Bot can handle you just fine. I really think we can. Let's go at it with an Ice Beam. Uh, Dragality's a really cool Pokemon, though. Like, it is an awesome Pokemon. Like, its design is so dang cool. Oh, God, you can eat that, though. Yeah. Okay, whoo! My lord! Well, Wubat's coming out with some power! And you're not just as a ground type, because we did not kill you. But okay, we did not one-shot you with an ice beam. All right, Dragoon Bite kind of let me down with that. Um, it is three levels higher than you. Uh, Gryffindor, you're, you're fire, so yeah, not you. Maybe... Let's go to Draco. Let's go to Draco, use a razor shell, and get this... Oh, get it out of here. I don't need any more deaths today. I need... I need, I need good vibes uh, in the comment section below. <laughs> I need some rip Alice's, too. God, I cannot believe it. I want to bring Alice back, but the issue is, like, I don't know who to bring back. With Alice, she's not going to learn any other moves, and that sucks. And I already have another good water type. Uh, but her dying is just so, like, tragic. Like, it's so, like, bad to think about. Like, she just died. She didn't faint. She's literally dead, and that's so sad to think about. 
I know it's a freaking video game, guys, but I'm, I'm highly emotional. I've always been like this as a kid. When I was a kid, um, if I ever thought like I was hurting something's feelings in a game, I'd feel bad. Like, I, I know it sounds so stupid. It does. But uh, there is, you know, Monster Hunter, right? I'm sure a lot of you know about this. I'm a big fan of it right here. I have a whole collection over here. But especially this game right here. This game right here, Monster Hunter Freedom 2. You can tell, like, that, I got it when it's new. That's how old it was. I got it when it was brand new. Um, and it was 40 bucks for the PSP. But anyways, so you have to kill these Poke uh, Pokemon. You got to kill these monsters in the very beginning to get raw meat to make some stuff. It's a it's a quest, you know. It's uh, it's you know expected and whatnot. We'll battle you, why not? And uh, so you have to kill these innocent monsters out there. They're like herbivores. They're not harming anything. They're not hurting anything. But you got to kill them to complete the quest. I always felt so dang awful going over there and slaying those uh, monsters. They had no reason to die. Hey, we fighting Ryan out here. Um. But yeah, that was always just so depressing to me. It was. I hated it. And I know that sounds so stupid. It's a freaking video game. But hey, hey, just let me be. And I was young, which I mean, I still hate it. I really don't like it. But I'm a big animal lover too. That has something to do with it. I, I love animals more than I love people. <laughs> to be honest. All right, foul play. Okay, I see. That's a powerful move there, Ryan. Um, I'm going to go with an ice beam though. And I don't see you living this. I'm going to be quite honest. Mmm, oh my god, we froze it. There we go, Dragoon Bot. All right, I, you know, we haven't used it that much. I'm glad you're showing off some power. Oh, it just, oh, I thought it broke out. I saw the little ice, you know, come out, so I thought it was done. All right, get another ice beam out of there. Man, I'm really hungry right now, too, and I got to record an Insurgents episode for today. Like, I have to have it up today. I probably should have recorded that before this series, but I wanted to get these ready uh, for tomorrow and the next day. As, you know, Christmas coming up, I want to get ahead for once, for my life. I want to know what it's like to feel ahead of the game. Oh, yes! We can cross over here! I don't have a Muzdale yet, though. Where are you at, Hapu? Give me my freaking Muzdale. <laughs> I better get such a good encounter in this dang route, or I'm just gonna sit here and just uh, cry. I, I, I feel so bad about losing Alice. Like, obviously, Draco is the better mon to use for the water type, but I would have much rather Draco die. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. I really don't get the need for Muzda right here. I don't get, like, does it hurt his feet to walk across or something? You know, we only got them sandals, not much protection on our footsies. Like, why do we have to have Muzda across this? It's it's like little, it's just like little boulders. Can we not step over them? I've never really understood that. Well, I, I guess it's just trying to make another way you have to use, you know, Muzda. Like, you know, uh, Machamp having to move those gigantic boulders out of the way so we can cross makes plenty of sense. I mean, I get why we can't just push that aside. But I don't get much now. <laughs> All right, you just go ahead and walk off. Give me. I guess you keep it Mudsdale too. I, I don't get how a Mudsdale just sits inside this pager. Which I mean, to be honest, how does a Pokemon sit in a Pokeball? So, all right, Mudsdale, let's gallop on across. All right, please. I. <laughs> after what just went down, please something good. Oh, just something good, something powerful. I mean, it's a pre-evolution. I can't say too much, but I'm not the biggest fan of these Pokemon, which I know some of you guys actually do like them out there, uh, but I'm not a big fan of it. But hey, it'll evolve quick, right? It will evolve a Firestone. We have a Firestone, don't we? Uh, I, actually didn't, I actually didn't know that. I never have used these mons because I never really liked them. Uh, but a Firestone, that is, that's actually prompt. Oh, we're super effective with this. So it's a water type. It's definitely a water type. So... Um, I could go to Alice and use Clamp, but I can't! Um, but yeah, we can get a- I don't think we have a Fire Stone, but that's not hard to get, like, a other stone, so, um... We go to Reaper. If it's a Water type, we would be not very effective. Yeah, okay, so Bullet Bunch is not very effective and stuff, so we won't- we can- we won't kill it with that. And we can catch this thing probably pretty easy, but the catch rate's being random, you never really know. I was hoping for, like, a Lucario or something. A Lucario would replace the Water type. That would be freaking fantastic, you know? All right, go with a bullet punch right here. I'm just like, no, this is gonna do nothing. All right, yeah, that's about what I expected. Magna bomb again. Oh man, yeah, I definitely need to go eat. Holy crap, I'm freaking hungry. Um, but I'm really excited to re record Insurgents. If you guys haven't been checking out this series, make sure to go check it out. It's actually been really fun so far. It's only been two ep two episodes, but the game is so awesome. Like I really enjoy it. Let's go Ultra Ball right here. I don't know. I'm just really excited for the story. I'm so excited to learn what that game has in store for us. 
because I've never played it before. I know nothing about it. And I love, I love a good storyline. Like, uh, one of my favorite games, uh, well, not my favorite games, one of the games I really did enjoy, it's Infamous. I think that's what it's called. It's uh, on the PlayStation. Is that Infamous with the electric guy? <laughs> I think that's what it's called. It's an early PlayStation game on PlayStation 3. And uh, the gameplay got kind of repetitive and stuff, but the story was freaking great. The story was so dang good in that game that it made me play it literally again. Like, one, one like right after it. And I never do that. Only because of the story. So, I will be right back, though, to nickname one of you after this pants here. Dreamer Cat AJ says, I don't care what kind of stream it is. It's always fun to come uh, to them every time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And name a Pokemon Plasma. And I get three weeks, and I'm in California. So, they change. I don't, uh, do you mean you get three weeks out of school? Is that what you mean by that? Uh, which I don't even know how long I get out to be honest I am not looking forward to next semester because I have a six uh, not six good god That'd be even worse. I have an 8 a.m. Lab, uh, which is like a two-hour class if you did not know in college for a uh, Science and stuff and it's <laughs> They're really long at 8 a.m. That means I got to get up here at my house probably like seven That's like that's like the latest a water and dragon tide. That's dope with dragon claw dive remnant and magnet bomb That's so beastly with up and special attack down in special defense. Yo, this thing could be straight power if it evolves into something good. Excuse me. I'm going to send it to my box right now. But yeah, so uh, it's going to be bad. <laughs> that I live about 45 minutes away from my school or whatever. Like 40 minutes. So that's like like if I just wake up, don't shower or anything. Just grab some food and leave. But all right, let me go ahead and see what else we could have got here. Maybe we could have got something better. I swear if I run into a Lucario, I'm going to be so mad. I already wish cash. I've never used one before in a series, uh, but that would be pretty fun, honestly. Uh, but yeah, so honestly, the reason I'm like so like I, w <laughs> I want to see Lucario because it's a water type now, and now that Alice is gone, uh, that oh, I want to train. Okay, that made me a little bit nervous because that thing could do some damage to Dragoon Bot, and I don't want to lose you because of not being able to run away. Can you please run away? Oh my God! Stop! Just run away. Thank you. All right. Well, we're gonna keep moving on. It doesn't seem like Lucario is here. We know that one rat he's in, uh, which is the only way we could get him is a reroll. Which, hey, if I get a reroll, I could technically go do that now because uh, I don't have Tapu Coco anymore. So I could technically uh, go and do that because I'm getting rid of Tapu Coco anyway. But the issue is we can never have Tapu Coco back. So I don't know what I would decide to do. Uh, we have a double battle right here. I'll use Reaper because I also will nullify the fire damage on Dragoon Bot, which is really awesome. I didn't even think about that little strategy right there. Let me go ahead and use a super potion right here. And, uh, I've already been recording for a while. I feel like we haven't done, like, anything. We fought Guzma, and then we had a death. So, but no, like, major events. I guess Guzma is technically a major event. We've been waiting to do that for a very long time. The music. So intense. Is it the Aether Foundation music? It's, it's white screen music. Is my, did my game literally just freeze? I think my game literally froze. The music's still playing, though. Like, I don't know what else to do. All right, I guess I have to avoid this fight. Oh, crap, man. All the training I did today, my catch right there, had a good nature and everything. This is the first time this has ever happened in any series I've ever done. Uh-oh. <laughs> Um, I don't know what to do because I can't I, I guess I got in the episode off now We've already been going for a while. So at least that's good Uh, but I got it in the episode off because if I once I turn this off I gotta do everything I did today again, which is annoying Uh, because I can't even remember what all we fought and whatnot, but Thank you guys so much for watching. The widescreen of death is putting an end to this episode. Um, in the next episode, we're going to avoid this double battle. Uh, I have no idea why the game just did this. It never happened before to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I better see some rip Alice's in the comment section below. You know, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Sorry we hit the end off right here. I wasn't going to go that much longer anyway, but I wanted to see what this double battle is going to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, everybody, make sure to check me out on the social media links twitter snapchat and instagram they're all at united gamer 101 links can be found in the description below and this is not as a channel it is a family and maybe in the next episode we can get a good encounter or something to avenge alice i'm out